Hi, I'm Matt, and this video is about EMFs, electromagnetic fields. So, first of all, I don't know shit about them, okay? I just want to show you a trick I know. <laughs> I'm not an expert. This is a question for guys with a PhD in electrical engineering. Will EMFs hurt you that come off of power lines, okay? These are the power lines here. There's one of those towers. This is a voltage detector. You hold this up to a wire, and it tells you if the wire's hot or not. They call it a volt tick, hot stick, uh, lots of things. So you turn it on, little green light comes on. The little, the little slot is the hot. When you look at a plug, there's a big slot and a little slot. The big slot is the neutral, the little one is the hot, okay, in case you didn't know. So when you get close to it, it goes off, okay? It's picking it up there because I had one that would really only come on when you stuck it in the hot. It wouldn't come, even come on if you put it in the neutral, but this one's not as fine-tuned as the other one was. So anyway, that's just to demonstrate. This is a little voltage wire for the garage door opener. It's doorbell wire, basically. See, it does not go off. It doesn't pick that up. There's not enough voltage in there. So watch when we go around behind by the power lines. See, it went off there. There's those power lines. putting my hand in front of the voltage detector and putting my hand between the wires and the voltage detector. So, so the question is, will that hurt you? So I've Googled it a couple of times. Like I said, I'm no expert. This comes up once in a while. I'm a home inspector. <laughs> I have a master's degree in education. So you don't have to be very smart to get one of those just to let you know. Let me shut this off. So if you ask 10 guys with PhDs in electrical engineering, five of them, I think, would tell you that yes, that will hurt you. And five of them would tell you no, it will not. Because I Googled it a few times and I read some, you know, some scientific studies on it. So that's about where they're at. They're about, you know, about like where cigarettes were in the 1940s. Some people said it hurt you and some people say it didn't. So I don't honestly know. I just made this video to amuse myself and put on my YouTube channel. So, uh, so what we learned today was if you have an object in front of the wires, it will block the EMFs, the electromagnetic magnetic fields. So if you have a structure between you and the wires, you're probably okay. You're not getting the EMFs off of it. Uh, if you don't, then you're soaking them up. And if you get far enough away when you walk down the driveway far enough, usually about 30 feet or so. It's about 30 feet from here to the house. Uh, more, maybe 50 feet. Then you get that far away, then the EMFs uh, dissipate. So, so that's it. That's uh, electromagnetic, field, uh, electromagnetic fields under power lines. Now, I do think in new construction, they don't let them build as close to the power lines as they did back in the past. I think this house was probably built in the 60s. So I've noticed when I go new, through new subdivisions with those, it's, uh, it's not as, they're not as, as close. Not a lot farther away, though, but a little bit farther away. So anyway, that's it. But I do, I have gone to those new subdivisions and stood in the yard right outside the patio door and I still get the EMF, so they're not far enough away for my voltage detector to not pick it up, so. So that's it on EMFs today.